That's why you need to learn to listen to God when you don't have anything that's pressing. On Tuesday, In Touch Ministries revealed that Charles Stanley, a prominent televangelist and former leader of the Southern Baptist Convention, had passed away at his home in Atlanta at the age of 90. There was no mention of a cause of death. Stanley, who spent 50 years as pastor of the First Baptist Church in Atlanta, was born in Dry Fork, Virginia, after he took the helm in 1971. The congregation flourished, and by 1997, it had outgrown its downtown Atlanta location and relocated to a suburban campus. The congregation expressed their appreciation for his enduring legacy of faithful leadership and spiritual guidance in a Facebook post. The Christian teaching program he hosted, In Touch with Dr. Charles Stanley, which premiered on the fledgling Christian Broadcasting Network in 1978, brought him the most notoriety. This prompted the establishment of an independent Christian ministry called In Touch Ministries to disseminate Stanley's teachings via radio and television. More than 100 languages are represented on solar-powered audio players that contain the Bible, Stanley's sermons, and other resources. More than 40 novels were authored by Stanley. Even though Stanley will no longer be the senior pastor at First Baptist Church, he has no plans to retire from preaching and will instead devote his time to In Touch Ministries. In a video message to the congregation, Stanley said, I will continue to preach the gospel as long as God allows, and my goal remains the same, to get the truth of the gospel to as many people as possible, as quickly as possible, in the power of the Holy Spirit to the glory of God. In 1985 and 1986, Stanley served two one-year terms as president of the Southern Baptist Convention, during which theological conservatives fought to oust more moderate leaders from the convention and its seminaries on the grounds that the church needed to be truer to biblical authority. My election infuriated the opposition and ultimately revealed many of the underlying problems that had existed in the convention for a long time but had been either ignored or denied, Stanley said in a 2016 autobiography. Seminary presidents and state convention newspapers among the moderate and liberal political forces of the Southern Baptist Convention were actively working against me. While in office, Stanley worked to end the practice of ordaining women in churches. The legendary evangelist Billy Graham reportedly sent a last-minute telegraph of support to his campaign in 1985, helping him win a second term in office, as reported by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. After Stanley's election, the battle subsided and eventually the moderates moved on from the fight, or away from the denomination. Ed Stetzer, executive director of the Billy Graham Center at Wheaton College in Illinois, told the newspaper, Stanley was also an avid outdoor and wildlife photographer, with many of his photos appearing in In Touch magazines. Stanley and his longtime wife, Anna, divorced in 2000 after being separated throughout the 1990s. The church confirmed Stanley's position as pastor despite the fact that First Baptist had forbidden divorced men as pastors and that Stanley had previously stated he would quit if his wife left him. However, the decision was criticized by other evangelical Christians. Andy Stanley, the pastor's son, was among the dissenters and believed the church should be given the opportunity to accept his father's resignation. Instead, it was Andy Stanley who broke away to establish North Point Ministries, an evangelical Christian church network with eight locations in and around Atlanta. Charles Stanley's children, he and his sister Becky, Andy Stanley said on WAGA-TV that his father is still an inspiration to pastors despite their differences. Not just how to preach or how to build a church, Andy Stanley emphasized, but how to cross the finish line with integrity so that you can look back on your life and be proud of what you've accomplished. Legal Notice, Copyright 2023, AP. This is a protected work. Without express written consent, you are not permitted to publish, broadcast, rewrite or redistribute this content thanks for watching